Well, despite the fact that snow is still on the ground in some areas, the National Weather Service has issued a red flag warning for fire today, saying that we are nearing a critical time of year. WMTW News 8's Kyle Jones is live in York to tell us what led to this warning. Kyle. Yes, yeah, Steve, we are here at Mount Agamemnicus, and as the warm weather arrives, officials say that things could be heating up pretty soon. And that's because as all that snow melts away, things are pretty much looking like this brown and, well, really just bone dry. Now, the good thing about all that snow that we had, it, officials say that the conditions for fire could be a lot worse than they are right now. It's the tale of two turfs. Snow still on the ground melting away in some areas, but it's dry land that's surfacing across most of the area, prompting a fire warning from the National Weather Service. Right now we're looking at a lot of grasses and dead brush from over the winter. Things haven't greened up yet. Interesting. Perfect fuel for a fire, says meteorologist Chris Legro, who issued the red flag warning today. And you get situations where something as little as a cigarette or even passing trains can sometimes start fires on these areas that are very, very ready to burn. And that was the case last May when a train shot sparks along the tracks in Old Orchard Beach, setting fire to brush, which quickly spread to a nearby campground. As we head into this time of year where we start to dry out more and more fuel, those fires can start to spread into larger ones, and that's the kind of thing we're looking to avoid. And Wells Fire Chief Daniel Moore says we could get some help from one thing that seemed like it would never go away. Well, the good thing about the amount of snow we got this past winter is put a lot of moisture into the ground. Leaving just the top inch or two a concern for now. Residents are asked to be careful around yards and in the woods, with the fire department issuing an open burning ban. And a bit of thanks now that the snow is just about gone. As much as it was a hard winter, it, it does do some good for us in the spring. Now, they'll continue to reevaluate each day on the weather conditions to determine the risk of fire. Now, what they take a look at is the humidity and the wind and the temperature. So, if we have um, high winds and we have low humidity, that risk could, uh, could increase and we could continue to see more flag, red flag warnings. Live in New York, Kyle Jones, WMTW News 8.